Hey, Jim Bergman here with MeasureQuick. Um, had a few questions about specifically how to save a project to the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to select a project. I'm going to tap on AC heat pump heating and cooling, and I'm just going to start this from the cloud. Uh, you could start it, you know, from scratch or from the cloud. Just start from the cloud just to make it a little bit easier to pull this up. And I'm going to select the AWS Auto Glass Company. I verify that this is the model and serial number I want to work on and just start the project. That'll pre-populate the project, the job site, equipment profile, uh, things we had from last time, including our benchmarks, so we don't have to do that again. So now we're at the point of taking the measurements. And you can see my indoor and my outdoor are coming in right away. So the next thing I need to do is just turn on my electrical meter and grab those. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on electrical. And then you'll see the meters uh, turned on and connected. So we're going to go ahead and connect first on the evaporator fan. And we'll get the evaporator fan watts. I'll just hit capture there. And then we're going to move it over and measure on the condenser. And we'll give it just a second to get those in there. So here's our condenser fan watts. We'll hit capture and then all the readings are in. So you just take them one at a time and they're sort of locked in there. We'll hit submit. So now all my data is in the measure quick. You can see my diagnostics are clear, meaning I don't have any problem. And this is the most important step right here is you want to save the data down at the bottom. So when you click Save Data, it's going to save that um, data. It's going to save a snapshot of it. And at this point, we can either view the data or we can hit Dismiss. I'm going to hit View. And when we view the data, it's going to allow us to pull up our environmental conditions, performance diagnostics. We could review that if we want to. That's a good place. Like if you want to look at um, the, how the capacity was and things before you submit the test, you, you sure can. And we go back to View All Data Categories. And then I want to do is Share and I'm gonna export my PDF. So a couple things here, when you export your PDF, you can include your profile picture. This is where you can show your range indicators on a report or not. Uh, you can make it a dark or a light theme. And however you use this, it's gonna keep it as the default. So if you change this, all reports going forward will have the same theme and the same range indicators or however you leave it. So you can always adjust it later if you want to. So now I just hit generate PDF and it'll generate the PDF here in a second with my uh, all the project information and my logo on the report, right? So pretty pretty simple to do. So now I get done here, and next really important step here is in the project, I want to hit exit, and then I want to hit exit and sync. And exit and sync is going to sync that data with our cloud. And so if we go back to the results tab right now, and I'll hit the back button here, you'll see that that project has been synced. There's a green check mark here telling us it's been synced with our cloud. And now you know that that project is uh, safe and you can delete it off your local device. Now, these with the circles next to them are ones that have not been synced yet. And if I wanna sync those types of projects, all I do is click on the project, set it as active, click on the project button again, hit exit, and just exit and sync. And that's gonna save the data to the cloud if we go back to the results tab and hit back, you'll see that that's now a synced project. And then I can delete these off my device. Because you don't want to have a bunch of uh, projects. We'd say about 25 of them is the max you want to see. If you have one you don't want, and you just swipe it to the left and you can hit the delete button and I'll delete the record completely. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, managing your projects on your local device and storing them to the cloud. Uh, if you've got any questions or, or concerns, just please reach out and let me know how this video worked and if it was easier for you to follow along with.